So, to recap, I haven't played this in over a month, so I believe we just escaped from the memorial after dear old dad decided to off himself. And we are at the Citadel. So let's go in. You honor us with your presence here. Really? Okay, that's nice. Let's go talk to this dude, Elder Lyons, okay? Madison, I'm surprised to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lyons. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. <gasps> yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. <gasps> Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison. It'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes. He knows what we need. vault tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well. We'll sort this all out. Hail. Hail! I... I need to rest, lie down or something. It's just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Okay, so the Brotherhood. Um, completed. Exploded Hail. Hail. Inside, ask Scribe Rothschild for pre-war computer access. Okay, where is pre-Rothschild? Because this isn't Rothschild, this is Elder Lyons. Um, I just saved your ass, and you're just walking away from me. Um, okay, I'm assuming I need to go this way. To A-Wing. A-Wing? Hail. Hail. For some reason, they think it's hailing or something, because, but it's not even raining. There's no hail out there. Yeah, there's no hail! Dude! It's not even raining! At least they're not saying hail. Okay, Rothschild. Where is Mrs. Hail? Stop saying hail! Are you Rothschild? No, you're Lions. Where's Rothschild? Okay, where is Rothschild? Okay, Rothschild is back outside? Thinking I had to... F Will you fucking stop saying hail? Okay, where is Rothschild? Can we turn off that music? Thank you. I'm just gonna go up here for a second, because I'm just curious. What is up here? Uh, door. Okay, let's go back here, because this is where the little symbol's taking me. Hopefully, I remember. Oh, buttons work. Okay, let's go find... Whoa, what in the world is that mother? What is it? Some big gigantic thing. Um, okay. I'm still looking for a Rothschild. Is Rothschild down? Rothschild is down. Okay. I'm assuming that's Rothschild. These guys are... I don't know. Okay, so... Oh. It's a massive little mother. Are you Rothschild? Oh yeah. You are. Okay. Hello, I've been told to talk to you. May I start by saying that I am sorry for your loss. I was acquainted with your father many years ago. The world has lost one of its few remaining visionaries. Okay. Um... Think nothing of it. Now, 
Dr. Lee has explained your predicament. Has she? You need to locate some Vault-Tec equipment? Yes. My father's looking for something called a Gek. Do you have one? A Gek? Goodness, no. Certainly not. Why not? I must say that there are some who doubt such a device really exists, let alone works. If, however, you share your father's determination, I may be able to assist you in locating one. You sort of sound like the uh, bad guy that was in the, the uh, Tranquility Lane. Possibly. I'm afraid I won't be able to assist you directly. The news Dr. Lee has brought will require me to be elsewhere. I can, however, give you access to an old pre-war computer from Vault-Tec. It may have the information you need. Ooh. You'll find the terminal in the archives in the A-Ring. Okay. You are welcome. If you require further assistance, I may be able to help. So now I need to go to the A-Ring, where I just was. Ugh. Hey guys, just a stupid run around, just pathetic. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so the A-Ring was, I guess, over here. Where are, the, where are the main doors? I don't know, I can't see where the main doors are. Okay, those the main doors? No. Okay, those are the main doors. This is the A-Ring, right? Need something, friend? A ring! One to bind them all. Oh, wait. Alright, so now I need to find this computer. Uh, it's this way. Is this the computer? Is not your service. Oh, I didn't know there was somebody there. Can I talk to you? What I wouldn't do to get my hands on one of those enclave vertebrates. Vertebrates! Uh, activate vault -Tec terminal. Activate maxing archive terminal. Should I check this terminal first before I check this terminal? No, let's just check this one. Um, I think this is the vault. What I need. Network offline. Please check your local connection. Uh, DC area vaults listing. Okay. Vault 76. Equipment. Okay, uh, starting construction February 2065, ending construction 2069, number of occupants 500, durations 240, power burn 40, life go thermal, life, light life go geothermal, general atomic nuclear power, non-standard equipment, okay. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to plan dictated in the marketing material produced by vault Tech and precisely to resident expectations. This vault will open automatically after a period of 20 years. The residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. Credit goals. Access restricted. Back. Vault 87. Equipment. Uh, okay, use... I think I located the GEC, but I'm not sure. Um, vault number 87. Starting construction date May 2066. Ending construction date 2071. Total occupants retracted, redacted. Total duration redacted. Computer control system cyber brain version 2.3. General atomics nuclear power. Personics fusion power. Standard equipment. Stasis chamber 4. Plasma containment field 3. GAC 1. And food processing station 6. Personnel. No. Project goal. Restricted. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go through all of them because I'm just curious. Equipment. 62. Started in 62. Finished in 68. 245. 100 years. Um, instead of 20 years. Uh, not equipment. Sound equipment. Itemized in memo. Musical instruments. And recording instruments. The well, musical instruments, I believe, 80, 92 is where I need to find something. Vault 101. Okay, I'm from Vault 101, so let's see what Vault 101 gives us. Equipment instances. Nothing. <laughs> nice. So we don't know what equipment we have. Okay. That's nice. Vault 106. Equipment. Started in 2064, finished in 2069. 95 subjects. 12 researchers. 147 months. Think machine. Rock solid brain geothermal. Atomic personnel assignments. Dr. Albert Maurice. This information has been redacted at the request of Dr. Albert Laris of the Psychology 
and over to Sierra of Vault 106 Project. All inquiries into the goals and research method Vault 106 are being directed through his office. This information has been retracted at the request of Wayne Priority. Uh, Vault 108. Equipment. 2061-2069 due to work stoppage. 475, 38 years. No computer control system. General Atomic Nuclear Power Note, main supply designed to fail after two, 240 months. Steam Whistle Mini Geothermal Note from Admin. We are aware that the steam whistle is only sufficient to power this project partially. Please do not file any further reports on this issue. Defensive weaponry, triple normal issue. Do not stop a standard entertainment. Brody Jones, Zachary Tasman. Researcher Note, all standard positions have been intentionally left unfulfilled and will be assigned by the overseer according to the Vault 108 protocols. According to the pre-assignment medical test, Mr. Jones has a genetic disposition for a rare terminal strain of cancer, which should ideally cause him to expire within 40 months of the project's inception. These two events should combine to allow a proper catalyst that allows this project to continue as planned. Project goals, file corrupted. Okay, Vault 112. Equipment instruments. Uh, started in 2068, finished in 74, only 85 uh, resident occupants. Preservation indefinitely. Think machine, sure power, extra sure power. And non standard. Uh, robots, caretaker variation, stasis pause. List of liquid nutrients detailed in memo. Blah, 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 blah. Personal assignments. Dr. Stanley's Braun. Okay, so I've been in 112. Due to the nature of the project, the Vault 112, and the highly automated systems designed to support it, the vault requires only a single administrator. Project goals was restricted. Back. Back. Okay, so vault tech personnel assignments. Error corrupted. Order requisition forms. Error corrupted. Okay, so I found where the GEC is. It is in vault. Where was it? It's in vault 87. Right? Yeah, it's in vault 87. Okay, so if I go, whoops, if I go, no, if I go to my map, and I go to Vault 87, that's where I need to go. And is this Vault 92 up here? Vault 92, by all, yeah, so Vault 92 is where I need to pick up the Stradivarius. Okay, so let's do this What's one. The situation? It appears the enclave troops have moved. Uh, Max and Family Dossiers. Roger Maxson. Born, not available. Died 2135. Second in command of the security team stationed at the West Tech Research Facility, later re relocated to the Mariposa military base. Assumed command after nervous breakdown of security team leader Con Colonel Robert Spindell. Executed scientists after learning of their research into the Force Evolutionary Virus, or FEV. Deserted from military just before the war, Mason ordered the fa families of all base personnel brought inside the facility, thereby sparing their lives. Led survivors to their Exodus to the Lost Hills bunker. Maxon's wife was killed on the journey. At Lost Hills, Roger Maxon formed the Brotherhoods of Steel as the organization's first high elder. He formed the orders of paladins, knights, and scribes. Maxon II, born an 18 of unspecified age in 2077, died 2151, took over command of the Brotherhood of Steel as high elder of 2135 when his father Maxon died of cancer. In 2155, while hunting down a group of raiders known as the Vipers, Maxon, who was unhelmeted at the time, was grazed in the head by an arrow. A deadly viper poison killed him within hours. Ooh. John Maxon. Born 2097. So he must be still alive. Maybe. But it says not available, so he's gotta be dead. Son of Maxon II and grandson of Roger Maxon, a gifted soldier, John Maxon was promoted to the ranks of Paladin at age 38 in the year 2135. Soon after, he was promoted once more to head Paladin. In 2155, Maxim was promoted to the uh, to the position of High Elder when his father, Maxim II, was killed by in glorious battle with the raiders known as the Vipers. Records indicate that John Maxim and some had some dealings with a mysterious figure identified only as the Vault Dweller in the year 2162 at the age of 65. New entries: Scribe Arthur Maxim, only son of Jonathan and Jessica, both deceased. Last of the Maxim bloodline. As an infant, sent to the Citadel to be fostered by Elder Owen Lyons. The reason for this decision is twofold. Recent internal conflict amongst the Western Brotherhood of Steel created an unsafe environment for the child. It was believed that the Citadel 
despite being located in hostile territory, would increase his probability of survival. Elder Lyons at the time was in the high favor with the Western elders and deemed a perfect candidate to provide care and training for the squire. Recent events have led to the lack of communications with the Western elders. As a result, Squire Maxon will remain at the Citadel indefinitely. Okay, State of Maxon. State of Maxon in the New California Republic was built in close proximity to the Lost Hills Bunker and enjoyed the protection of the Brotherhood of Steel. No additional information available at this time. Dyer, Volume 1. Uh, okay, I'll read that later. Telling how far they might spread. What is this? Um, Archive Canadian Library Terminal. Report of UFO code named Paladin. Further investigations into the UFO code named uh, have confirmed a suspicion. One of the evenings of May 3rd, 2062, an alien aircraft of unknown make origin did indeed breach the airspace just north of Hagerstown, Maryland, and crashed into a heavily wooded non residential area. Unfortunately, attempts to retrieve the craft provide unsuccessful. No proof. Unsuccessful. It simply could not be located, either due to some kind of advanced invisibility shielding, or because the occupants managed to make repairs and vacate the crash site before our arrival. Despite our failure of recovery, the significance of this event cannot be denied. We are not alone. Uh, project Brainstorm Report. Brainstorm Military Culture Center 2076 Project Progress Report. Our flagship ship project, the Induced Patronism Initiative, has met with resounding success. Our agents have successfully included covert and overt messages of extreme patriotism and loyalty into popular medium ranging from the big screen to the Sunday Fundays. Increased military enrollment amongst target demographics serves to underline this success. Agent Webb has been particularly effective at influencing the music industry and he has interesting proposals for the fields of organized sports and even such notoriously difficult markets of comic books and toys. A, sex, a success in these areas would ensure early education with our message, and thus ensure a more dedicated and devoted nation for us all. Mission Closina Report. Development of the mutant undermining life form continues apace, and our chief bioengineers are certain that they will be able to perfect these living weapons in time for the deployment into Red China. Once convert the release into the enemy's environment, their aggressive qualities, dangerous hunger, and pervasive breeding should severely undermine the infrastructure of the location in short order, softening the target for ground invasion. At this point, the genetic kill switch can be activated, allowing for easy reclamation, not including a significant one-time cleanup effort. Current mole development primarily uses genetic stock of rodents, particularly the common sewer rat, and progress has been significant. The FEV testing has been rejected, however, as the results are sterile. Okay. Who are you? Brotherhood is at your service. Well, go away, Brotherhood that is at my service. Open door. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, B Ring Barracks Great Hall. Okay, so I found where I need to go for the gap. 